think of going out to eat to get some home-style cooking, normally that doesn't mean you're actually going to someone's house. But here, that's not the case. I'm talking Felice Urban Cafe, and I'm headed in right now to see how they turn this regular neighborhood home into a restaurant. The inside felt very intimate. It makes me feel like I'm hanging out at home. We saw the chef plucking fresh vegetables. You can't get fresher and more local than that. It's awesome. You really can't go wrong with anything on the menu. Please. Oh, hi, hi, Lauren. How, how are, are you? you? Good to see Good you. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Oh, well, thanks for having me. So this place used to be a home. Uh-huh. Before my mom got it, the house was a vintage shop, vintage clothing shop a little bit, and that's when my mother bought it. But now tell me about the process to transform a home into a restaurant. First thing we had to do was switch out the kitchen. We had to change out the electricity, the plumbing, the gas lines, everything. And then we had to enclose our front porch. As lovely as it was, we needed it for the winter. And then also for the living room, what used to be the living room, we found a mantle place in Tremont. So that mantle is not original to the home? No, it wasn't. The look of the, at least the first floor, is early 1920s. Yes, right? the craftsman style era, natural. And so we wanted all the natural wood to be shown wallpaper that is original to that era. There's multiple floors to this house, right? And you can eat on multiple you floors. You can eat can on you? every floor, yes. I'm really interested to see how you transformed bedrooms and a home into a place where people eat now. We had a designer friend, and you're going to have to explore the other two with him. Oh, well, I'm looking forward to that. Because it gets a little bit wilder and wilder as you go up. Great. Well, I'll come check out you later, and I'm going to go upstairs real quick. Okay. Yeah. I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Chris? Hey. Hi. How are you? Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. I'm Lauren. Nice to meet you, Lauren. I noticed that this is a total jump from that early 1900s era. Sure. Why such a jump in the design and decor? You've met Felice. I have. Right. And uh, I know you're going to meet her mom soon. When we got involved in doing this, I just wanted to do something that reflected that really spirited personality and kind of pick up all the, the kind of garden theme. But I thought I wanted to do it just a little bit more like over the top whimsical and make it a little bit more almost fairy tale. It takes a lot of understanding and engineering and all these things because you have to think about flow. You have to think about comfort of your customers. You have to think about production, how quickly they can be served, paths for servers. The most important aspect of this property is that it was a house. And as you drive up and down the street, it looks like a house. I immediately saw the, the, the barn in the back, which was originally in a, a garage, you know, so it had these big swinging doors and this kind of, it was dilapidated, sort of crooked, and, you know, certainly been there for almost 100 years. So let's build a bar in here and build a patio around it. So there's a, a lot of challenges that came. Well, Chris, thank you so much. I appreciate you letting me get in your head a little bit. Oh, my and uh, just see what your thoughts were behind the design. But I want to get outside, so I'm going to let you go. Thank, you, Thank so you so much. much. Thank Take you. care. You too. Hi, ladies. Hi, How are you? I'm fine. Margaret, your roots no pun intended, but your roots are kind of in gardening and farming. Correct? Right, right, right. Well, we had a farm in Medina when I was a little girl, about 300 acres. And uh, so I was brought up on a farm practically. What you grow in here, do you use it in the kitchen? Yes, we use it in the kitchen. You didn't intend for it to be a restaurant initially. No, I was going to put tenants in it and then because I thought I could handle that. But then my architect said that's so boring and I didn't want to be boring. Oh. So I said, what should we do? He said, let's do a restaurant. I said, a what? Oh my goodness. And I thought, you know, I don't think I can handle that. Right. So he said, not to worry, we'll do it anyway. So we did. You live in the neighborhood. I live right across the street. I come over and get my dinner, but in the meantime, my job is to schmooze everybody. So I talk to a lot of people, encourage them to be here, and we love them and blah, blah. And then I go home and sit on my porch, and I watch the, t the people coming in, and I count up how many are coming in, and then I multiply by how much I think they're going to spend, and then I add it up and wonder how long it'll take me to get my mink coat. Your mink coat. Right. <laughs> 
Now, why do you want a mink coat? Well, I think I just need it to walk across the street in the Cleveland winters. Ah, I see. Well, we have entered the last and final part of the segment. One of my favorite parts is where you get to pick your favorite dish on the menu, and I get to try it. And Felice, I think you picked that dish, right? Yes, and it's called pappardelle. Mmm, sounds nice. It's okay. delicious. I get it every time. Let me run and tell the chef, and she'll bring it out to you, okay? Sounds good. I'll see you in a few. Okay. Okay. Deli for you, Lauren. Oh, nice. We have some zucchini and kale, sugar snap peas, and thyme from our garden. Excellent. Well, it looks and, and it smells wonderful too. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to get right in here. Bon appetit. All right. Very good. That has a very interesting taste. The carrot, I just snapped the carrot. And that was good. So it's very good. Wonderful. Thank you so much for having me. I've had an interesting and wonderful time here. I love being in the garden and meeting your mom. She was great. So thank you so much, Felice. You said it was I a pleasure. It. I'm going to finish this dish. Go That's for okay. it. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> 